Hello, once you have set up the JShow in NetBeans IDE 8.2 as explained in the previous screencast, the way to open JShow is to go to Tools and open Java Platform Shell. Then after a minute you will see what you are seeing right now. And in here you can type your system or print line or whatever it is that you want to use in JShow and things are looking good. However, here we have two projects, project one and project two. And you can see that in project one we have these two classes and in project two we have no classes. Now what you can also do is you can right click on a project and choose execute Java shell. What we now have is not Java shell with the JDK version in the tab, but we have a Java shell with the project name in the tab. Now, in here, we have access to the class path. Here we have FXML controller with its Java doc, which is Hello World, as you can see. Well, when we are in Maven project two, and we do execute Java shell, what you see here is if I type FXML, what we see here is that FXML controller is not available, which is obvious because FXML controller is on the class path of Maven project one and not of Maven project two. And so via the project specific J shell support and NetBeans, you have complete access to the class path of the application that you're working with. Thanks and have fun with JShow in NetBeans.